awesome sauce. Hello, YouTube. Hope you're doing very, very well. Azrin, the language nerd here, obviously. <laughs> I'm the person on the channel. I'm doing a little bit of a behind the scenes video today, a behind the scenes video slash live stream. I am doing a Spanish workshop tomorrow or leading a Spanish workshop tomorrow. So that is Saturday. And um, obviously when I'm running a Spanish workshop or any, wor any language workshop really, there's obviously lots of different things and a bunch of stuff that I have to do to prepare. So essentially what I did is I already did a lot of my prep like prior to today. I did a bunch more prep today and I live streamed it on my Instagram. So this is technically part two. This is like the final preparations and more, I guess you could say the, um, the material preparations. And so I thought it'd be cool to show this. I think it'll interest some of you to just kind of see what happens behind the scenes when I'm preparing for these events. Um, and I also thought it'd be a good opportunity just to share some of the things that we're going to be, um, yeah, share some of the learning strategies, um, some of the different things that we're going to be doing that perhaps you could implement into your language studies as well. So um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. So basically what we got to do is the first thing, I'm gonna have to move this laptop somewhere where you can actually see me clearly no matter where I go in the room. So let me do that. Like this, unplug my headphones. Let's perhaps for the time being move that. Let's keep this here for now actually because there is some stuff I have to do while sitting. So the first thing we're doing tomorrow is we're gonna be playing a game. Um, it's a one day workshop only. So normally I do two day workshops or I do like multi day language workshops. But tomorrow is only a one day workshop. So we're going to be doing some things that are in my, like in the classroom, AKA like in my house. And then we're going to be doing other things that are out of the house, if that makes any sense. Um, and actually one quick thing, I'll open the chat here to make sure I'm not missing anything in case this chat that comes through. Okay, perfect. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just do this here. Okay, perfect. Awesome. I think it's open. Oh, it's not open yet. Hang on here. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Sorry, guys. Fast forward a bit if you want to, if you're watching the recorded version. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, let's do that. Um, okay, now we're good. Here we are. Awesome. Live chat's open. Beauty. So the first thing I want to do, the first thing we're playing tomorrow, I've, I've, you guys have seen this game before, actually. It's uh, Headbands. So Headbands is the following game. I'll show it to you. You have different cards. Like this is the first thing you're doing. We have different cards such as these ones. So these little cards here. I just want to make sure I know all these words in Spanish. Make sure that I'm really clear, like that I know them 100%. Um, and so when we're playing, I don't look like an idiot. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I don't know how to say it. So I'm just going to do a quick review of these. Uh, that's the first thing we're going to do. Um, that's a, by the way, fantastic thing. Our flashcards with images are really good, like a good language learning tool you could be using. So something I recommend for you guys to use. I think a lot of you um, can get some usefulness and some value out of it. So um, my, we've gone through a lot of these before. Let's go through, we're going to go through some that we did before. I made a French, Spanish, English vocab video. So we'll go through those. We'll do them again, only in Spanish this time. And then we'll also do the remainder. So I think we'll play with, we'll probably play with all of them, but I'm not sure, okay? So we have boat, which is un barco, or un bote, actually you get both, un barco, un paraguas, un cangrejo is a crab, una sandilla, san, uh, yeah, una sandilla is watermelon, una sierra is a saw, una linterna is a flashlight, un ciervo is a, is a deer, um, una cartera is a handbag. Un, una ardilla is a squirrel. Un búho is a owl. Un tenedor is a fork. Las palomitas is popcorn. Um, una escoba is a, a broom. Una almohada, pillow. Un tambor is a drum. Los calcetines are socks. Uh, un zorrillo is a, what do we call this, skunk. Una pala, pala, pala or pies, pala. Un globo, there are these balloons. Um, una cebolla is onion. 
un pulpo es, a, es un octopus, un cepillo de dientes, es a toothbrush, una pluma, una lámpara, una hormiga, una torta, un canguru. Canguru? Canguru. I forget, how to, I forget kangaroo how to sell it and how to exactly how it is. Let's double check that one. Make sure I know it for tomorrow for the lesson. Canguru. Canguro. Oh, canguro. Wait, how do you say this? Wait. Canguro. Okay. Canguro is a kangaroo. Really? I thought there's another canguro. Yeah, canguro. Great. I'm going to put that aside because I didn't know that one. Una rana is a frog. Los huevos or un huevo is an egg. Un conejo. Un mono. Can you see this? Okay. Yes, you can. Un mono. Un delfín. Una muñeca. Un tren. Those ones we've done already, I think. I did them a while ago on the live stream. Um, let's just make sure I know these ones too. Una araña. Una, una cebra or un cebra? I think it's una cebra, but let's just double check. I think it's una. It's crazy, right? How you can be really advanced and still not. Yeah, una cebra, good. Un helicóptero, I think. Helicopter. Helicóptero, yeah, I got that right. Una flor, una flor, yes. Un tractor, una llave, un tigre, un piano, una fresa or frutilla, una puerta. Un castillo, una zanahoria, un dinosaurio, un avión, un árbol, un libro, un reloj, la luna, el maíz, la piña, el queso, el pan, el baño, eh, la pelota de fútbol, gafas o lentes, una tortuga, una mariquita, I think. I, I didn't know that one last time either, but I'm pretty sure I'm right this time. Ladybug, una mariquita. Una mariquita, yes. Una mariquita. Un oso polar. I think oso polar, right? Polar bear. Oso polar. Make sure that's right. Yeah, I got that right. Now, this one I'm not sure. This one I'm not sure. This one I'm not sure. And this one I'm not sure. These ones I'm actually going to ask. I have some friends that I'm seeing tomorrow to speak Spanish. I'm going to ask for these four. Because I, I, I find conflicting stuff online. Actually, if you have any Latinos watching this, let me know. How would you, what would you call a snowman? Would you call it like un hombre de nieve? I don't know. What would you call a swing? I don't know the word for swing. I would like to know. If you speak Spanish and you're fluent and you're a native speaker, let me know. Swing, I actually don't know. I'd assume it's like balanceo, un balanceo, something like that, but I'm not sure. Skateboard, I assume it's the same as the English word. Un skateboard, something like that. And kite, I don't know. Un... I don't know. I actually don't know these ones. So these ones, I'm going to ask my friends tomorrow. But if you are a native Spanish, you can let me know. So these ones were good. I know the words. Now, the second part of this game, it's not just knowing the words, but it's knowing how to ask some of the common questions. Because what happens in this game is you get these little cards that have sample questions. So I just need to make sure I know them. So in case they ask me and I just like, because sometimes, like, sometimes it's crazy. And I think a lot of you can probably relate. You know a language and you speak really well. When it comes to translating an exact sentence, it's very difficult to do, at least for me. Like, I'm almost better with con, I'm almost better just speaking myself than sometimes translating what other people want me to say. Like, if someone goes, Hey, how would I say this particular sentence? Sometimes it's really difficult for me, even if, even though if I had just naturally tried to set it, it would have come out very easily. Weird, right? I've noticed that with a lot of native speakers, if you find a native speaker of a language who's not used to being around language learners, they struggle with, uh, they struggle. Like even if like my grandpa, for example, speaks English, Gujarati, Hindi, if I ask him a direct question in English, how do I say this English sentence in Gujarati or Hindi? He can do it, obviously, just like I could do it in French, Spanish and everything. But it might take him a second to go, how would you? And sometimes you can't, it doesn't come quite to mind. It's interesting. So I want to make sure I know these ones. So first one, do I have legs? Tengo patas or tengo piernas, depending on if it's leg, animal legs or not. Patas or animal legs, right? That's the thing, ladies. I have to be like, so sharp at these events like i'm like the teacher i'm the expert so i need to be like sharp like well I don't, the funny thing is that i think i have higher expectations of myself when i'm teaching than my students have of me but i have very high expectations of myself i expect myself to be the best no mistakes zero so i hate it when i make them so i need to like really make sure i know my stuff could i be a pet eh, podría ser una mascota or un mascota pet it means una Una mascota, sí. ¿Podría ser mascota o una mascota? ¿Ser o estar? Ser, sí. ¿Podría ser un, una mascota? ¿Podría ser una mascota? ¿Podría ser mascota? ¿Una mascota o mascota? I think you could go either way. 
Um, ok, estamos ok. Am I an animal? Soy animal. Easy. Puedo nadar? Can I swim? I'll put all the CNC too. I'm on the, this one. Do I make noise? I'm on that one. Do I make noise? Hago ruido. I don't know. Like, how would I say it? Like, ruido is noise, right? Yeah. Do I make noise? Hago ruido. Or how do you say that? Make noise in Spanish. Is it hacer ruido? I assume so. I've never in my life said the sentence, do I make noise? Hello, Andy. Um, hello, two Andys, actually, in the chat. I especially hate it when someone is learning English and they write in English and then ask me to proofread their English. I can improve upon it, but it still won't come out colloquially correct. Interesting, yeah. Interesting. I'd rather say a sentence in a foreign language and translate it into English than the other way around. Yeah, totally. I agree, Andy. Andy Roberts. Make a noise in Spanish. How do you say that? Hacer un ruido, no? Sí, hacer mucho ruido. Yeah, and these dictionaries say it's hacer ruido. Yeah. So, hago ruido. Okay. Can I be eaten? Uh, me puedo, me puede, me puede. It's so hard. It's such a simple, me pueden comer. Me, me podrías comer. You can say that. Me podrías comer. Me puedes comer. Um, sí. So I could say, okay, do I have legs? Could I be a pet? Fine. Am I an animal? Fine. Can I swim? I'm good. Do I make noise? Hago ruido. ruido. Fine. Um, can I be eaten? How do you say be eaten in Spanish? Uh, well, fine. Soy una comida. That's what we're saying. Soy una comida. There we go. Tengo pelo. Do I have hair? Can I be worn? How do you like say that in Spanish? Like be worn. Se lleva? I guess me se lleva is like, is it, or like say, wait, to where is llevarse, right? I think so. Llevarse is to where, I think so. Take, what's what's to wear in Spanish? Eh, me pongo, that's to put on. Me pongo mi, mi polo. Me pongo un polo. Eh, estoy, what is to wear in Spanish? Isn't it llevarse? Llevar. Oh, just llevar. Oh, not llevarse. Okay. Ya, yeah, estoy llevando. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Nos pondremos sombreros. Oye, ponerse. But yeah, I can say ponerse too. Okay. So llevar. Let's double check this one for where. Um, tener, traer puesto, ponerse, llevar puesto. Yeah, it's interesting. There's a... Uh, anyway, let's keep going. Um... So can I be worn? Bueno, soy ropa. We'll say that. Um, Puedo volar. Can I be worn? That's bothering me. Me, me podrías o me, me podrías llevar. Eh, soy una prenda de ropa. But I can't think of like the war. Abrigarse. Ah, hola. Abrigarse, but abrigarse is. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Me podrías abrigar. But abrigarse is more like. Um, that's a little different though. That's a little different. Like you don't abrigar un, I don't abrigar un, un, un polo, no? Hmm. Anyway. Escúchame a mí, no al otro lado. Don't listen to the other hoes. That's not very nice. If you don't speak, if you're not nice, I kick you out by the way. That's, that's, that's my rule. I don't really care if I offend you. Yeah, like I'm more thinking of the be worn. Like Andy Roberts, like how, like, I'm not, I, I can phrase the question. I can't, I just can't figure out how to say it directly, like a direct translation. I'm really bad at that. Can I be worn? Let's Google that. How to say be worn in Spanish? Or like be something like, like let's figure this out here. Mm, let's see here. I'm going to, I'm reading a website here. Mm, like, llevar is okay. Like, llevar is fine. I, I, I'm I okay with llevar. Like, I, I'm trying to think, like, puedo estar llevado, right? Like, I can think of that. Puedo estar llevado. I think that's fine. But it's, I've just never heard that sentence in Spanish. So I don't, that's the thing about me. Like, I, I know grammar, but often my grammar is more about, um, my grammar is more about my listening, what I've heard. I have such a good auditory memory that I memorize every, literally everything I hear. And I'll be like, oh yeah, that's correct. I've, that's right, because I've heard it a bunch of times. It's crazy, or I've seen it a bunch of times. This sentence is never something I've heard or seen. So just like, even if I grammatically put it together properly in my head, I will not feel confident in if it's correct. So anyway, so yeah, Ria Kuma, I've noticed you. I noticed you. Andy's asked you a question. You haven't answered. I've noticed you. 
be polite, dude. I'll kick, I will kick you out. I'm not, I don't care. I'll kick you out. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> People have to be nice. Um, anyway, soy, soy una verdura. No, I'm sorry, where am I? Estoy vivo is fine. Um, let's see. Oh, I got it. What's in the chat here? Uh, uh, anyway, there we go. Anyway, um, am I am I heavy? Estoy pesado. Or soy pes yeah, estoy pesado. Okay, perfect. So I'm good with these. I'm I'm good. With, I'm confident with these. We're good. Game is ready. Let's put it like let's put it neatly. I'm gonna clean that over there. I'll show you in a second. So let's put these guys neatly. Um, put these away. Let's keep these guys separate. because I'm gonna ask my friends for these ones tomorrow when I see them later. I'm um, just to yeah, I'm just curious. I actually don't know the words, and I find conflicting information online. So okay, so this is now done. Let's put this somewhere nice and neat. Okay, let's put that over there. Okay, next we need to. What else do I need? Let me think here. I made a list actually. I made a list. Mm, where's my list? Dun, 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 here we go. Prep. Okay. So lunch location. I already did that earlier. Cleaning basement. We'll do that in a second. Ensure there's food. I'll do that in a second. Flip chart. Okay. Let's get that ready. That's right here. So turn this this way. So this is here. Um, there we go. Okay. So you always have this guy here, which is like where I write like notes. I could do like a lot. I could do like language lessons actually here. I could like have the camera here and use this guy for like notes. I could theoretically create like, you know, those like uh, language lessons that other people make, other YouTubers. I could theoretically do that. No, pues, Rilakuma, ¿puedo ser ponido? No, 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 no. Rilakuma, I don't know, but nobody. I thought you're a native Spanish speaker, but now I'm doubting that you're a native Spanish speaker. So this is from another event. Oh, by the way, here's a fun fact about me, a YouTube exclusive. I'm the worst at ripping these properly. I'm so bad at it, I always do it wrong. I'm so nervous. I get like anxiety when I have to do this. I actually will sometimes designate a paper ripper. Like crazy, right? I'll like, I'll, 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 des I'll designate a paper ripper so that I don't have to worry about it. So let's try, hopefully I can do it. Is there a strategy for this? Is there a way to do it? Oh, 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 oh. Nice, look at that. Nailed it. By the way, let's do some uh, vocab. Let's do some Spanish. <laughs> I like some of the stuff on this. I like some of the, some of the slang is on this here, it's funny. Well, not all slang, some of it's slang. Hmm. I'll give you one funny slang off this. Miércoles, which is Wednesday, can be like, ah, oh, fudge. <laughs> anyway, let's put this aside. Okay, so I have a flip chart. Put that there. I have one marker. I need more than one. I have three markers. Where is my box of markers? Hang on. I'm coming back. Hang on. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm returning. Uh, oh, here they are. I found them. I found them. Do, 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 Here they are. All the markers. So we have lots of markers. They're scented markers, by the way. Okay, so that's good. Here's another fun fact for you guys. When I, I actually, oh, there's some penciling here. Kind of penciling here, and people are coming. Put that away. Put that on the steps. <clears throat> um, so here's the thing, guys. Um, Here's a piece of advice for you guys, is the following. I feel bad for the sixth person who just joined the live stream where there's no one here. It's kind of weird. Um, quick piece of advice for you guys is the following, is um, for the language learners, uh, I, I actually, I, I really, I don't know how many of you guys are doing it, but I honestly, I'm a huge fan of like one day lessons, two day lessons, weekend lessons, three, like all like like extended periods of time for lessons. I'm a big, big, big fan. Like seriously, don't need this tripod today. No recording, be none of this event. Yeah, like I'm a seriously like really big fan of it. Um, and what was I saying? Ah, yeah, so I recommend you guys gotta find like tutors locally, man. 
find tutors or teachers locally to do all day lessons or multi-day lessons with you like man you'll learn so much and it's not necessarily overly expensive um and i would i think a good idea is to show them some of my multi-day lessons so you can so the tutor or the teacher knows what to do with you i think it's a smart idea you'll learn a lot having that having those multiple days like having one day or two day or three days or whatever where you're fully immersed in whatever language, despite your level, it could be beginner, could be, um, could be um, advanced, beginner, intermediate, doesn't matter. Um, you will like, you'll just learn a lot. So, anyway, uh, Rila Kuma is asking some questions. Um, uh, I don't know. I answer understanding question. I am preparing for a Spanish workshop I have tomorrow. Quantos años will say theme? Uh, I have. I'm 25 years old. Isn't that cool? I can read Portuguese. Proud of myself. I think it's cool. You guys are seeing that. Let's fix that. Is that better? Does that? Can you not see that light anymore? It's kind of annoying, eh? Let's do that. Maybe that's better. Um. Can I keep this? I don't think I need this. Do I? Do you want to do? Here's a good idea. Let's create a piece of content right now. I have all of these guys here from like a previous event that I haven't recycled yet. It's like a bunch of expressions and words and terms. I think what I'll do is let's actually, I can create like a good piece of Instagram and Facebook content just by taking pictures of these and posting them. We can do that here. Let's get that ready. All right, before I recycle them. By the way, this is another tip, not necessarily a language learning tip, um middle slow i am read the bottom of the board is blocked by the chair but it's too far away to read if you write on it anyway yeah that's a good point whatever cuando se puede entender español no se puede leer portugués mucho más fácil yes i understand yes of course it's much easier um so let's snap some pictures here okay picture one i'm gonna post these on facebook and instagram so if you want some some of my Spanish vocab that we did from previous events, Facebook and Instagram are good places to follow me. Okay, and there's some good stuff here, especially for the intermediate folks. Beginner maybe not as much, but intermediate for sure. Ah, beginner too, actually. Beginner too. Okay. Dun, dun, na, 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 Man, if I just took like literally four minutes to like just plan like how I take my pictures and stuff, I could have much higher quality, but I never do it. Like there's like a big board game literally in the way here of these pictures and it's just like making them not as nice. That's okay. This one we're not gonna post. There's some bad words on this one. I don't wanna post, I don't post, I don't post swears and stuff. I keep that out of my content. So those are the pictures we'll post. This is now recycling. Recycling. By the way, I'm curious. What country are you from? And does your country have recycling? I'm curious if you have recycling or not. I know some don't. Okay. Now, let's focus on... Um, we ought to clean this basement up. What's this? I don't know what this is. It's weird. Um, do -do -do. Put that away. All right, let's turn this around, actually. Give me a second, guys, I'm coming. Coming back. Okay, so now we have to turn you this way. Um, by the way, Russians, who's Russian here? Who is Russian? Are you Russian? Yes or no? I want to know if you are Russian. I think a lot of you are. I found out a really interesting statistic the other day. 60% of my subscribers are Russian. Isn't that crazy? 60% of you guys are 70, 60, 70%. Uh, no, wait. I think like 60% are Russian, then 10 are like from Belarus, Kazakhstan. Um, I know you're not Russia, but like you're, that 10% is like close to Russia. Like 60, 60% is Russian. Crazy, eh? 
I actually need to do like some content for the Russians. Like I'm thinking of like Azrin learns Russian like once a week. We get a follower because there's a lot of you that speak Russian. We do a live stream. You teach me. That's a good idea. Huh? I got an idea. I wonder if we should do once a week. I do a live stream with a Russian follower where they're teaching me Russian. That's so fascinating. I should totally do that. Yes, that needs to be done. Um, so let's kick this off right now. Russians, Russian people who speak some English, would you, or I'll say in simple English too, like do you want to do a live stream together once a week where you teach me Russian? We got one Russian person. We do 20 minutes, you teach me Russian. What do you say? Yes, no, maybe so, I'm curious. I might even make a video, like one standalone video where I'm like, hey Russians, that's what it's called. Hey Russians, comma, question for you. That'll be it. <laughs> okay, anyway, we can clean this up. Dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Bum -dum -bum -bum. Okay. So I'm just curious, why are you learning many languages? Just out of curiosity. Um, I'm learning languages because I think they're interesting and I like them. And also, who texted me? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think it's interesting. I think it's fun. I think it allows me to talk to people around the world. Um, it's a bit of an... Oops, it's a bit of an, a weird story or interesting story because, ow, let's put this down. There we go. Um, hang on. Is this camera on me? Yes, it is. Good. It's kind of looking funny though. Let's do like this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So it's a bit of a funny, this is a cool place to shoot videos from. This would be interesting though. If I had a camera here and like had that in the background and like just sat here, that'd be kind of cool, right? Like if I had... If I ever made videos like if I'm like sitting on a small chair and I was like maybe yay high, something like that, that'd be cool, no? I like I kind of like this background. Interesting. I'll think about it. Anyway, so it's an interesting story about why I like languages um, and how. Whoa, memory card. What? Why is there a memory card loose in my bag? Oh shoot! I've lost them. Oh no. Um, I might have lost a memory card. Where is my other one? Um, crap. Okay. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'm coming back. Hang on. I need to find my memory card. I, will, I can't seem to find one. I might have misplaced one of them. Then I'll answer your question about languages. Um, so get that off my chest. Don't look on my chest. God, come with me. Oh, I know where it is, actually. Hi, Jessica. There it is. Found it. That is good. Okay, time to answer your question. Um, so I, when I was 15 years old, people who followed me for a while, you know this story, but when I was 15 years old, I <clears throat> went to France for three months. Hang on, my mom. Oh, hang on here. Ah, oh, crap, you're kidding me. Damn it. I still have, I need a case for this. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, whoa, Andy, you got a, you sent a message that sent for review. I don't know what that word means. Are you swearing at me, Andy? Andy, what does that word mean that you just typed? Tisk, tisk, not Andy Roberts, Andy M. What are you typing there? It's being held for review. I'm not going to show it yet. Tell me what it means first. This is a small enough, I have a small enough audience where I can still moderate things very tightly. <laughs> but it's going to go, oh, by the way, a uh, bit of an Instagram, or sorry, YouTube Live exclusive. Uh, as of, I'd say, I'm curious, and the real hardcore fans will pay attention. 
in maybe I would say within the next month, I want you to pay, if you really care, I'm going to pay attention. I'm predicting there is a, a small chance, not a, uh, I'd say a, a decent chance. I'm not sure. Um, that overall my numbers double across social networks. So if YouTube were at 42, I'm thinking maybe you'll get to eight, you know, five, you know, 8,000, something like that. Um, 7,000, six, nine, something like that. Um, Instagram doubling, like doubling in general. It's a good chance. There's a 40% chance of it happening. Pretty cool. Uh, there's something I've put into place. It's going to be live on uh, Thursday. Thursday it'll be live of this week. And so it's just a very, it's just a, it's one of those chances, like the Russians know this, you know, when Justin and I started to do some work together, when I met Justin and we started to work together, um, that helped my audience a lot and gave me a big boost, obviously in the Russian crowd for the most part. Um, while we're, I might, oh, okay, we'll show it then. Um, I might, uh, there we go. Perfect. I might have another one of those types of actually as a very good chance I have one of those things coming up in the next uh, week here. So pretty excited. Uh, it's obviously, yeah, it's just a big deal. So anyway, back to my story. I, I need to find the, ch I need the case for this. Hang on guys. <sighs> You're kidding me. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Okay. Just come with me. Everyone coming back. Just come with me. Ugh, follow me. Rosica. Hey, Rosica. Um. Whoops. Okay. Hopefully the case is in here. You're kidding me. I don't have a case for my, uh, seriously? I don't have one? I know I have one. I thought it's in this thing. Well, okay. The best, oh, there's a SIM. Oh, that's cool. I have a case in built into this thing. I have this thing, which is where I keep a lot of my electronic gadgets. So anyway. Okay, anyway. So back to my story about languages. When I was 15, I went to France on a three month exchange trip. My mom forced, this is really frustrating, it's not working. My mom forced me to go, I didn't want to, but she forced me and I went and I enjoyed it. And when I came back, my French was a lot better. This is not working. Why isn't this working? Is this not meant for a card? Maybe it's not. Anyway, my French was a lot better. And what was interesting is that not only was it a lot better, it was a lot better. Like I'd improved in my perspective as a 15 year old when I went, I improved more than some other people. I don't know if many other people, but some other people I improved more than them. And I assume that, oh, everybody went to France, so everybody, would all of a sudden be amazing and obviously everybody improved but i felt like i just improved a lot and i was like wow and then all of a sudden french in within three months snap was easy for me like it was not difficult anymore and so i was like oh interesting that's pretty cool french class is easy i liked french um it was cool i liked how it sounded people complimented me it boosted my ego and so um in high school around that time, I decided to take Spanish because Spanish was offered. An interesting backstory about the Spanish is that before going to France, I wanted to take Spanish, but I couldn't because it like because I was gone for three months, it just didn't work with the schedule. So I was actually mad already that I couldn't take Spanish. So I taught myself some beginner Spanish, um, some basic Spanish. And then it, when I was in I was like 16 years old, so maybe 16, yeah, 16 years old, maybe, maybe 17, 16, 17. I started to study um, Spanish in high school. Then I majored in those languages. I started to really like languages. I took a linguistics class. I almost didn't take it. This is a story I've never shared. 
I almost didn't take my linguistics class um, because I was like, ah, linguistics, what is that? I don't know. But my mom was like, you like these languages. Maybe you'll like the study of languages in general. Thankfully, I took it. Um, generally, the class was okay. It wasn't the best class, but there were certain, I realized certain elements of um, linguistics that I really like. Like, I like pronunciation and phonetics and phonology and a lot of that stuff. I really like it. Okay, so this is done. So I'm, and, and phonetics is like a joke for me. Phonetics comes super naturally to me, um, like really super duper naturally to me, like extremely natural. Um, I remember we used to get these tests. There we, go. we used to get these tests where we'd have to listen to someone talk or say something. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Perfect. Um, right, so we used to listen, and then what we heard, we would have to type, or write, rather, in the International Phonetic Alphabet, and it was a joke for me. It was like, I, I would never study, and I get like, I used to get like, I've never gotten like, I've never done something in my life and gotten like 100% on a test, or like 80, like 98%, 96%, but it was, it was just crazy. It was really crazy. <laughs> like super crazy um people just like literally be like oh walk into a test not really have studied and just get 97 percent and just be like what the heck this is like stupid like and like so it, it was just cool i was like wow i'm good at phonetics so um i forget where i was going with that but um yeah and then i started to like languages look more into it and came across um tape to came across what's that guy's name uh ted donor i think his name is or tim donor tim donor Tim Donor, the 17-year-old polyglot who speaks 20 languages, and I got aggressively competitive with him, even though he's never heard of me, but I got very competitive, and I was like, man, I want to be, like, known like that for all those languages. Like, I want that. Like, what? If i known this was a world, in my brain, I was like, I would have crushed this guy. That was my, in my brain, I was like, I'd be, I'd be in that video, not him. That was my mentality at the time. So I was like, if I'd started languages when he'd started, if I'd realized it was a thing and I'd actually done it from a young, young, young age and made sure. I'm probably wrong. I don't think that's my, my path is not to go learn 20 languages. It's not the direction I'll ever go in. Um, it's never, it's not how I roll. Like I'll never start a language and just leave it at 50%. Like I need to get to a point where I'm basically native and needs to happen. Like I'm just, that's how I'm wired. So I'll never, I'll never be the guy who speaks 20 languages. That won't happen won't be a thing that I'll ever do. Um, I'll probably cap at eight, nine, ten. Um, and even that sounds like pretty tough. Like probably cap at eight, like the eight that I have my, on my list. Like that's where I'll cap unless like I hit by a bus or something and something bad happens. But like generally that's kind of what will probably end up happening. And fun fact, it's going to be really cool to have like 25 years of content of me going and learning eight languages. It'll be so cool. So cool. Imagine like when virtual reality is a thing. Imagine virtual reality Azarin. That'd be so cool. Anyway, virtual reality live stream. Could you imagine that? VR live stream. ¿Te gusta mi idioma nativo curso es español? ¿Qué, qué, 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 qué? Rilakuma, no entiendo tu pregunta. I don't understand your question. ¿Te gusta mi idioma nativo curso español? I don't understand. About some Russian comments. Don't understand. Slowly speak. Okay. I will speak slowly. Hello. Nice and slow. Azrin will speak slowly. Azrin, the slow speaker. Azrin, the slow walker. I am moving slowly. I am walking slowly to clean. I want to clean this mess up. How long could I like just be silent and people would still watch? Seriously, if I just didn't talk, if I didn't talk for like 20 minutes, I think people would watch. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, hello, Lucia. Which language are you studying currently? Um, what is all this paper? What is all this? Why is it like, why? Why is this here? What is all this? 
Okay, this is gone. This is goes back upstairs. What is this? Okay, this. Uh, I'll take this upstairs too. Uh, which languages are you studying? Mainly, oh, these are important. Mainly, I'm studying. Um, uh, mainly studying. Mandarin and secondarily Gujarati. Mandarin and Gujarati are primary. I'm actually going back and doing my second degree in September for Mandarin. So I have one degree in French and Spanish. I'll be doing a second one in East Asian language studies. What about these? Do I want to keep these here or do I move them? I don't want need these things. Let's move them. By the way, a fun little thing I highly recommend you guys do. Um, a language learning tip for you guys, like something on my lip. The heck is that? I feel like hair. Is there hair on my lip? I don't know. Anyway, um, so a language learning tip: do collaborative activities in a different language that are not actually language related. For example, take twenty pieces of spaghetti. Take a thing of tape, like a foot of tape, thirty centimeters of tape. 30 centimeters of string, scissors, and then you give people, and then marshmallows like these ones, like this, and give, it's weird, I thought they're open. No, maybe not, okay. And then give people a task, a job, of building a tower to support one marshmallow, but tell them to do it in a different language. Like, doing activities, doing any activity in another language, interesting way to learn. Activity needs to be different if you're beginner, advanced, or intermediate, but it is an interesting little hack. Now, where the heck am I going to keep these things? I don't need these today or tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll put them... I know where I'll put them. Hang on. I'm coming back. I'm returning. Ow! Hello. You like my head thing? Wait, let's fix it. There we go. What if I turn it on? What does that look like for you? <clears throat> Maybe we'll just do this for the rest of it. Sorry. Wait, I think it's still on. Wait, it didn't turn off? Oh, it, it did. Beep, beep, beep. I'm going to give you guys a seizure. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll do like this. Maybe we'll just keep it on my forehead. It'll be like a hat. There we go. I should take a picture of this. Let's take a picture. You can you can see me take a selfie. <laughs> okay. It's actually a good picture, despite the weird thing on my head. Wait, let's get rid of this hair. Let's get rid of these. Let's move those up. Hang on, hang on. Let's retake that selfie. Hang on. I saw some questions. I'll answer them. Give me a second. Get these hairs out. Let's let's retake that selfie. That's actually a really good picture of me. <laughs> Despite the weird thing on my head. I don't like the second one as much. Wait, let's 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 be like a girl. Not a girl. Actually guys do it too, actually. Not just girls, but okay, wait, let's do one more time. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Okay. Oh man, the first picture is the best one. Here we go. I like the first one the best. Here, here it is. <laughs> so strange. 
Um, okay, anyway, let's answer your questions. Uh, you have a blue star on your head. Okay, so how do you, what is this? Do you like Spanish? Yes, I like Spanish. How do you maintain the languages you've learned? Um, I teach them, which helps, but I also need to do stuff. Like I've noticed, not that I'm slipping in French and Spanish, but I just noticed that there's so much more for me to learn. So I just, I don't know, like those I, lately those ones you see, you've seen the videos I made on Facebook and stuff. I've made them, you guys have seen them um, on Facebook and YouTube, obviously, like I've made the videos where I do like reading comprehension, French and Spanish, right? So I've done that. Um, that like helps me like French and Spanish. I don't do a lot. Like other ones, I like act the, the lower level ones. I actively study to get to a higher level. But once they're at a higher level, because I teach them and I use them pretty regularly, um, like I'm able to maintain them decently well. But I will admit, like I do, they like I think I was more co comfortable probably five years ago in French and Spanish. Not Spanish, I'm pretty comfortable still actually, but French for sure right now specifically, I'm very comfortable, but I was more comfortable once upon a time. So, um, what's that? Oh my God, it's a light. Uh, why do you have a linterna in your head? Well, it's not in my head, it's on my head. Come on guys, it's on my head. Lucia, what's going on Lucia? Come on, it's not inside my head, okay? It's on my head, it's like wrapped around my forehead. Anyway, so let's make sure I've done. So is this clean? Oh, I need to, these need to go upstairs. These go upstairs. Ugh. Ha. Hi -ya. Okay, anyway. Okay, so those will go upstairs. Um, <clears throat> let's look at my list here. So lunch location, done. Clean basement. What do you guys think? Do you think it's clean? Oh, I have to move those things. I'll meet this later. Um, so that's good. That looks clean. Looks pretty clean to me. It's like pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Okay. Um, food. Oh yeah, we'll need some snacks down here. Um, perhaps there's a coffee thing. Oh, I don't know if it actually works though. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Mm, flip chart with markers is done. What is this? Okay, there we go. Flip chart is done. I've done like a full day plan. Like I've done that. I know when they're coming. I know who's coming. I feel pretty ready, guys. Like I have a couple little things I got to do, but I think it's ready. So I know, Lucia, I'm, I'm bothering you. I see your comment in the chat. I'm just, I'm, I'm bugging you. Um, I love this. I should like have this on my head all the time now. I should just, every time I'm just, when I leave the house, I should just put it on my head, see what people say. People will definitely be like, what's going on? So let's do this, let's move this. Whoa, this moves, look at that. Okay, there we go. So, what else do I have to do here? I think I'm pretty like, I think I'm pretty much done. Oh, we're not done at all. No, we're not done at all. Um, so that's what I have. <laughs> that's that's interesting. Um, so here's a fun fact. I have uh, I have uh, two events tomorrow, not one. <laughs> fun. Okay, so I'm no, I'm nowhere near done, guys. <laughs> okay, so I do. I need to make a Facebook ad. No, we have a hundred people signed up, so that's gonna be fine. We don't need that. Ads not needed. Even if I need an ad, pff, we're finished. I posted my event. Oh, let's do that now. I posted on Facebook. You guys will do this with me. Okay, do it with me. Help me out. Post on Facebook. Group is done. Facebook page is done. Instagram is not done. So let's do that now. Um, you guys will do it with me. Need to edit my profile. Uh, hang on here. We're gonna do this together. Wait for me. We're gonna create something. We're gonna make something together. Okay. I'll need your help for this too. So as I'm getting it ready, I need help. Hey, Max Um, So I need, I need your help. Everybody in the chat right now, I need you to type 
Um, I need you to type, please type the following. Type this, I'm gonna type it here. Everyone type this, okay, ready? Come to YouTube, wait, no. You should go to languages and beers tomorrow. But you should go to Azarin's event. Languages and beers. Tomorrow. Okay, everybody, I typed it in the chat. Copy, paste. Okay, then we're gonna make something together. But first I just need to get something ready. So as everyone's typed that, I need to type I need to prep something here. Messages. Who messaged me? Hola, Azrin, ¿qué tal? Solo quería saber si solo personas jóvenes van a este evento. So about this event, someone just asked me in Spanish. Um, hey Andy, I don't I don't care. Just just type it. Andy, just 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 type. Everybody, just type it. Just type. Go. <laughs> hola, Azrin, ¿qué tal? Solo quería saber si solo personas jóvenes. Eh, hola, Marta. Hay personas de que vienen de paste. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So now I need to reply to that message too. I'll do that later. It's a longer one. Ooh, my friend is coming. I didn't know she's coming. Calgary language. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Man, this is taking a long time. Why is this? How do I? Why is this so difficult? Here we go. Okay. Languages and beers. Share event. Wait, hang on a sec. 33. I thought this 30. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Copy. Where's copy link? Copy link. Here we go. Instagram. Edit profile. There we go. People have posted. Awesome. Website is now going to be this link here. There we go. Okay. Languages and ears. Paste. Save. Uh, wait, I need to go get something for this. Hang on. I'm coming back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so now we're gonna create this content. Here we go, ready? Oh my God, seriously? Okay. Make sure this looks good. All right, yeah, we're good. I feel really silly, but we're gonna do it. Um, photo, <laughs> video, here we go. How can I do this? Can I do it like this? Can you guys see? Wait, let me try. Okay, wait, hang on, hang on. This is harder than I thought. What if I do like this? Oh, uh, wait, okay, hang on. Can I do this? Will that work? I do that, and then I flip it and I can see. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do, ready? Okay. Oh, I can't see the button. I can't see it. Okay, there it is. Oh, there we go. Now I can see it. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Check this out. YouTube has got a message for you. YouTube has got a message for you. Check it out. Here we go. You should go to Asin's event, Language of Tomorrow. You should go to Language Event, blah, 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 blah. Read all the messages. You should go to Asin's event, Language of Tomorrow. Um, go to my Instagram profile. You're going to see a link called, well, Language and Beers. If you're in Calgary, you should come. Come to the event. Calgary people. Or if you want to fly in, you can fly in. I'd be like, that'd be kind of weird. A little bit odd, I think. 
Uh, but you theoretically could do it, right? Did that work, guys? Let's find out if it worked. Okay, here we go. Let's play this for you. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Check this out. YouTube has got a message for you. YouTube has got a message for you. Check it out. Here we go. You should go to Asen's event, language is tomorrow. You should go to language events, blah, 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 blah. Read all the messages. You should go to Asen's event, language is tomorrow. Um, go to my Instagram profile. You're going to see a link called, well, languages and beers. If you're in Calgary, you should come. Come to the event. Calgary people. Or if you want to fly in, you can fly in. I'd be like, that'd be kind of weird. A little bit odd, I think. Uh, but you could theoretically could do it, right? Instagram. Okay, perfect. That worked. Instagram, Instagram. Check this out. Oh, I can pick a, I can pick a, I can put a thing on it. I can put a, a filter on it. What filter do I want? Do I want a filter on it? Ooh, that's a cool one. Wait, I want to. Oh my god. Okay. This is plus fun, right? Was that fun or is that just silly? Write it in. Dumb or fun? Was that dumb or was it fun? I want to know. What do you think? Where's the? Oh, here it is. Okay. That is a unique ad. I know. I'm just picking the filter. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm picking a good filter for this. <laughs> There's no good filters or videos. I don't like it. What about this filter? Will this one look any good? That's pretty cool. Ah, no, I don't like it. Lo-fi? Ah. I think I found a good filter that I want. Let's see. Yep, I like it. I got it. Is it dumb or is it fun? <laughs> answer, yes. What does that even mean? I think that's, I think yes is the correct answer. Here we go. <laughs> Help me with the caption. Okay, we'll do a contest. I'm going to post this on Instagram. New game. Everybody go. Instead, they may be frozen. No, it's everybody. One, two, whoa, what happened? I think it's frozen. Something's going on here. I think my stream might be frozen. Is it frozen, guys, or do you hear me and see me? I think it might be okay, actually. Maybe it's just my computer. Wait. I think it's okay. Okay, anyway. New game. Everybody type one word, uh, but one, between one and three words, and go. Between one, let's say everybody write three words. Doesn't have to make sense. Everybody write three words. Three words each, go, three words, three or more, up to three or more, I'm going to mix your words and create some kind of a caption for this post. Okay. So while that happens, um, so everyone, three words, any, any, any words you want, no swear words, don't like, no swears or anything dumb like that, like three normal words. Otherwise, I won't pick your words and I'll just write my own thing. Um, okay, here we go. I need to email people about the event tomorrow as well. Let's go to my email. Oh, crap. Ah. Seriously. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so that's not going to work. Um, I just remembered something. Maybe what makes more sense is, ah, oh, crap, I forgot. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That one, what is that one? Mm, so I think the other thing I could do is, oh man, that sucks. It really sucks. 
like a lot. Um, I didn't think about that. Um, maybe what we can do is let's do, let's think about this. So send an email for tomorrow's event and say, Okay, I'll figure that out later. I can't do that now. Um, <clears throat> Dulce de leche. Un, deux, trois. Hey, Andy. Hi, at Maxence is here too. Okay, are those the three words people are typing in? Okay, great. We'll include those. Uvas, naranjas, manzanas. Okay, we have some words in here. Hey, Insta. Hey. Hashtag Calgary. Hey, hashtag Calgary. YouTube has a message for you. Also, as an inside joke with my YouTube followers, with some YouTube followers okay what are the words we got we got some let's say i like uh grapes i don't know i like grape juice mixed wait with a with apples and oranges on the side. Dipped in. What is dulce de leche in English? What is that? Dulce de leche? What is that? Dulce de leche in English? What do you call that? Not condensed milk, or is it just that's just the English word too? Well, I'll just say dulce de leche. It's fine. With dulce de leche. Hashtag inside joke. Then we'll do hashtag uh, Calgary. Hashtag YYC. Hashtag YYC events. Hashtag languages. Hashtag uh, Calgary events. That's enough. I don't want to do too many more. <laughs> this is the best. Okay, share. I love this. <laughs> okay, it's posted. I posted it, guys. Um, now I have some problems that need to be solved that I don't know how we're solving. Um, okay. Hang on here. <clears throat> oh, Snapchat needs us too. So wait, we're going to do this guy. Stop typing the chat for a second. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 here we go. Hey, Snapchat, YouTube has a message for you. You should go to, oh, wait, that's not what I want to say. That's not true. Hey, Calgary people on Snapchat, my YouTube has a message for you. All these people on my YouTube, so you're doing a stream. YouTube says, you should go to Languages and Beers tomorrow. Go to Languages and Beers tomorrow. Go to Languages and Beers tomorrow. Everybody's saying that if you're in Calgary, you should be at Languages and Beers tomorrow. Are you going to be there? <laughs> this is the best. I'm laughing, and Snapchat has no idea why I'm laughing. And I think that's even funnier that they don't know why I'm laughing. YouTube, you kind of know why I'm laughing, but you don't actually know why that made me laugh. And so it's like an inside joke with myself that nobody understands, which is just amazing. So anyway, Snapchat. Calgary people, I know there's a few of you who follow me from Calgary. Come. Send me a message for the link or for details if you want to come.
There we go. Posted. <clears throat> yeah, inside joke with myself. I always have inside jokes with myself. Always, all the time. So that's shared there, so we can delete that off the list. So Instagram is done. So all that is done. Done. Off the list. Uh, we need sign-in sheets. Um, those are upstairs. So let's go print some. Or do I need to print some, or do I have them printed? I don't have them printed. As a matter of fact, I don't even know where the leftovers are. Let's go find them. Come with me. Ouch. Found them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven, so fourteen, twenty-eight, twenty-eight, uh, forty-two. Any more than that? Okay. Got some photocopying happening. I think something's happening. I don't know what's happening. I think it's photocopying. Oh, but I have a, uh... that's a bad idea. Oh, it's too late now. Thirty-five plus that. Kidding me? Lost them? 
Okay, wie wollen wir da an? Ach, das war nicht so gut. Und dann. Okay. Okay, vamos al basement. It's my English. Okay, so now we gotta do this. Estamos en el basement. We are in the sótano. Estamos en el basement. We are in the sótano. Okay. So here's a fun little fact. Have you ever run an event of your own? Bit of a hack for you, a link, like a tip. When you have sign-in sheets for anything, you need to fill out about two sample rows with like random contact information. It's just a good idea. Otherwise, people don't fill it out properly. People don't fill forms out right. So you need two, one or two sample lines on every sheet so that people fill the form out properly and they don't like, it's crazy. Like people will just like, I've seen people that will just like write like, like they, whatever you're supposed to fill out, they don't fill out. <laughs> and so you need samples. So people, they don't read the instructions. It's very interesting. So this is sort of an interesting thing. So I'm going to go put some, sample names on here so people get to see how to fill it out visually so we'll put um oh this pen's not working oh it is good oh crap Ugh. okay what's the date tomorrow tomorrow's may 4th oh man i think i messed this up no it's okay it's okay um Probably not a huge deal, but oh crap, I messed something up. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is that a big deal? Uh, maybe not. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. It's not a big deal. So, oh no, it's okay. No, no, it's. I thought I. I thought I made a mistake, but it's okay. I thought it printed. Oh no, printed okay. Never mind. I thought I misprinted, but it's okay. I'm fine. Okay. So let's just put some sample name. Let's put some samples here. Tomorrow, Cinco de Mayo. It is Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. That's a good point. The next five minutes are going to be boring. Next one. Are you gonna like watch me just write for the next while? That's interesting. Okay. The next five minutes are going to be boring, guys. I'm sorry. There we go. One is done. 
Halo. Ya udah baca. Yeah, no worries. No, not a problem. Got a chance. Doing well. Oh yeah. Oh cool, fun stuff. Uh, yeah, things are good, man. Just preparing for uh, there's the language event tomorrow, right? So, so I'm just getting a couple of things ready for it. Just printed out some of the sign and sheets and everything. So we're getting those ready. Uh, same as usual. Like call it. There should be about I don't know between fifty and seventy five people, something like that. The kind of standard standard turnout. Um, yeah, if I put it if I put it on like Facebook and stuff, we'll get more. But I didn't put it on Facebook this time around. Not yeah, not how I normally would. So, so yeah. Cool. That's good. Yeah, it's been a while. Music wise, yeah, jazz music, no, nothing, nothing really. Um, yeah, nothing. I think I think the last time I went and listened to live music was when we went. Yeah, I usually I usually I was just actually I just got back into town like a couple like maybe two months ago. I was out, I was in India for a while, right? So I was in India for two months. Yeah, I was gone for a couple months. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was there for a couple of weddings, a um, couple of wedding events, but mostly just to study Gujarati is why I was there. Yeah. Oh no, that's that. So that's where I was for two months. Yes. Yes. Where did you Where did you stay there? I have no idea, actually. No, actually, uh... okay. Then, then I—that's where I was. Too. That's where I was staying. They're very close to there, anyway. Yes, I did know that. Yes. Yep. Yep, I do know that. Uh, no, I have some family around there. Yeah. Yeah. No way. That's cool. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, I was you know, like in the city. Yeah, I was out of the city, not too much. Yeah. Yeah. Are you coming tomorrow or no? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're welcome to. Yeah, well, you know we're there till well, we get fry, well, five till whatever eleven p.m. or whenever people leave. So yeah, we're there a while. Last time someone came at uh, they showed up at like nine thirty p.m. <laughs> Which is funny. That's fair. I'm doing it differently this time. I'm gonna have um, I haven't. Figured out exact. I'll probably get signs from a dollar store, but I'm, I want signs on tables this time. 
to be like French, Spanish, because because usually it's it's just not clearly as clearly marked as it probably could be. Like I mean, people still find where they want to sit, but it's still you know it's not ideal. Like the people who come there for the first time, I feel bad for them. It's always like deer in the headlights. Like okay, where do I sit? And I'm just like I don't know, sit wherever you want to sit. <laughs> and I'm like I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. 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 The funny thing is that when I was in India, when I, when I was in India, the person who was running it for me was so funny. There, uh, I heard so many comments of like, like joking, like it was jokes, but because I heard the joke so many times, I was like, they're not actually joking. So I hear from different, the same, they'd be like, oh yeah, it's funny. Oh yeah. They did such a good job. They did better than you. And I was like, oh crap. <laughs> Cause, cause it was like the one thing that, cause like, well, specifically, um, they are really good at making sure that people were like almost not like almost guided to their table. So they knew where they wanted to sit and everything. And I was like, Oh, ouch. Okay. That's, I need to, I need to fix that. So <laughs> it was like, I was like, Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Not very true. Yeah, it was funny. So I gotta, I'm gonna figure out, and I might get signs for dollars store. I'm not exactly sure how I'll do it, but that's my next thing. I'm just doing a quick thing right now, and then I gotta figure that out. So. I thought about that too, but you can't always see the name tags. Like if someone has long hair, it covers the name tags. And or even if the, like think of where people are sitting, if the name tags are color coded, you don't necessarily see the color when you're just walking, but a sign you're more likely to. I could do both. There, yep. That's always an option, yep. Yeah. yeah, very sure that's an option. Yeah. I've seen people do that though. I've seen people put flags on tables. Like I think it's um there's we don't have them in Calgary, but there's a a language like there's a there's actually like a I think they're a company that actually does like like host language meetups in different cities and they do flags. They have stickers, like flag stickers, and you put the flags on you, like you put them on when you walk in. And they also, I think they also have flags. I don't remember if they have a flag, but I think that flags, like, like they stick on the table, but they also have like the sticker that you would like for languages you speak, you put them on. Um, so I, I have seen that. I went to one in Toronto, which was cool. Yeah, so probably the way I do it is when people walk, the way I'm thinking of doing it is when people walk in, um, when they walk in, I would give them, like I'd ask them what language they speak and or want to practice. And then depending on how that conversation goes, let's say that the first Spanish person, let's say they're from Col like Colombia or something, I might say, cool, if you want to talk Spanish, I'll give them a Spanish flag or sign or whatever. And then they'll now be the first person at a Spanish table. Then anyone for Spanish, I'll send them to that table. Um, that's probably how I'll, I'm going to do. I'll do that tomorrow and then I'll see if it works. Like, I don't know if that'll work. And if it doesn't work, I'll be like, oh, that didn't work. And I'll have to do something different. But... Right. Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Awesome. Good. Yeah, it's going well. I have no no complaints really. I chose not to. I just wanted to study, so I didn't really work too much in India. Yeah. Yeah, more small uh, some one on one and some groups, so. Yeah, so mix the both. Uh, yeah, groups can be done remote. I just don't do it, to be honest. I just have more one on, like, I just have more groups in my own city, like in Calgary. So, but groups can be done online too. It can be. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. That's cool. I played badminton now a couple times a week. Yeah. A couple of different places. It depends on the day and depends on you know, where I am and everything. A few different places, but yeah. Um, well, I gotta let you go here. Um, but hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good. All right, see you then. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Yeah, it hurts, guys. It's all this writing. It's the last one, and then I've got the samples done. Done. Perfect. Cross that off the list. Well, a couple of people hopped off. I'm going to hop off too. It's been long enough on this behind the scenes. Um, so see you guys later. Um, bye. Been a long enough live stream, I think. Yeah.